Hi, I'm Rory Moynihan, coach and videographer here at Runners Connect. In our last video, we discussed how to diagnose and treat posterior tibial tendon dysfunction. Today, we'll be learning about the science behind UCAN, a popular running fuel on the market, and how or if you should make it part of your fueling plan. Generation UCAN is a commercialized version of a processed form of cornstarch that was originally developed to treat a rare genetic disorder called glycogen storage disease type 1. People who have this condition can store glycogen in their liver, but can't release it as a free glucose in their bloodstream. As a result, they have chronically low blood sugar. One avenue for treatment is a frequent intake of cornstarch, which provides a steady influx of glucose into the bloodstream. UCAN has since been adapted for runners and other endurance athletes and boasts a unique super starch formula. This slower burning formula is meant to replace traditional gels and carbohydrate drinks because it releases carbohydrates over several hours and thus puts you in a metabolic state to burn more fat and be less reliant on simple sugars. UCAN does have other versions available, including an electrolyte mix However, today we'll just be focusing on their super starch formula. When we create fueling plans for the half, full, and ultra marathons, we use an important formula to help us accurately predict at what point you'll run out of glycogen and thus how much you need to replace to avoid hitting the wall. This formula is the percentage of carbohydrates you're burning when running at goal pace. It's called your fractional carbohydrate demand. The lower your fractional carbohydrate demand, the longer you can go without hitting the wall. Now there are a few ways which we can keep your fractional carbohydrate demand a little lower. First, you can slow down. <laughs> Good one, coach. But usually this is not an option that most runners want. Second, we can implement fat-adapted training like glycogen-depleted long runs. I think our Runners Connect athletes are familiar with this workout. Third, we can use refueling products that help shift the mix of fat versus carbohydrates that you burn. The primary data for modeling our fueling changes comes from an oral presentation at the American Conference of Science and Medicine, which we attended this past June. The critical numbers for our purposes are the rate of fat oxidation and the rate of carbohydrate oxidation when using UCAN compared to traditional glycogen. As demonstrated here, UCAN reduces the number of carbohydrates which you rely on. It also increases the amount of fat you use when running. As you can see, when using UCAN, there is a favorable shift in your body using more fat as a fuel source when running at the same effort level. The result is that you will need less calories from carbohydrates per mile throughout the race overall when ingesting UCAN. Given the percentage change in carbohydrate and fat oxidation when using UCAN, you can expect to need about 30% less calories from carbs during the race. If you're not exactly sure how many calories from carbohydrates you need already, you can check out our Marathon Nutrition Blueprint by going to the link in the description below. It comes equipped with our revolutionary glycogen calculator, which tells you exactly how much glycogen you need to avoid hitting the wall. If you're already a member, a training plans or master's member, simply head over to the race fueling course and you have access to the glycogen calculator. We'll also include a link for that as well. Even better, if you're using UCAN right now, we have a separate calculator to make the adjustment easy. All you'll need is your weight, gender, and goal time, and you'll have an exact fueling plan for the race based on whatever product you want to use. Finally, we're going to include one more link so that you can go to the website and order you can and save 20% off using this discount code right here. Studies conducted with cyclists in 2011, 2016, and 2019 have tested UCAN's effect on performance in relation to other comparable sports mixes on the market. To read more about these findings, check out the link in our description. What they found is that UCAN led to a blunted increase in blood glucose and an increase in fat oxidation. As stated before, this means that the athletes relied more on fat and less on carbohydrates. 
Despite these changes, however, we will be the first to point out that the cycling time trial performances in all three studies did not improve after using UCAN. Some researchers have raised questions about whether the primary strength of UCAN, its slow rate of absorption, could also be a weakness. One of the reasons that traditional sports drinks like Gatorade use a combination of fructose and glucose is that these sugars get absorbed very quickly. When carbohydrates sit in your stomach for a long time, they can cause nausea, gas, diarrhea, and other gastrointestinal problems. This is something you'll have to find out for yourself by experimenting with UCAN and other running fuels during your long runs and training. Based on the research that has been done, we can make these statements regarding UCAN confidently. 1. UCAN super starch formula will be absorbed more slowly in your stomach than other energy mixes. 2. Your blood glucose levels will rise more slowly when you drink UCAN versus a traditional sports drink. 3. Your fat oxidation will increase compared to using traditional sports drinks and gels. Number four, UCAN is probably more beneficial during ultra events than in marathons because in an ultra marathon, your body relies primarily on fat oxidation. UCAN isn't a miracle worker. We're not promising PRs. You're not automatically gonna perform better when you start using it. However, if you frequently hit the wall or constantly struggle with staying properly fueled during races, UCAN seems to be the best scientifically proven product on the market to help. Have you used UCAN before or are you using it right now? Does watching this video make you want to give UCAN a try? What fuels have you had success with in your training runs and races? Be sure to share your feedback with us in the comments below. Hit that subscribe button and like and share this video to help us reach a larger audience of runners. Have a great run today, folks.